here he comes every time. What's up, big guy? Vinny. He's such a good greeter. The thing is that usually when I come up here, I just give him this little piece of apple or something. A good looking horsey. <laughs> Swimming. Sure, let me just show everybody Gracie, okay? I'll be right back. Moving on. We have Ruli chilling out, being pretty happy. It's been a good day today, great weather. I thought though I would do a quick update on Gracie. She's got a few things to update you guys on. Hello, Ruli. What are you doing? Hi. Come here, let me scratch you a little bit. She says, you got to do the neck and the shoulder. Have I got it? Uh, top here, around, other side. Let's see. Hi, Ruli. Anyhow, enough about Ruli. Okay, on with this Cracker Jack. Now. <clears throat> Okay, with that motorcycle out of the way. Um, Gracie, coming along really well. Uh, I'm going to do a totally separate video talking about my trip. Uh, but a lot of people have asked me, how is she doing? What is she up to? We haven't seen her in a while. And so she's coming along really well. When I got back from Colorado, <laughs> what is it really? Um, I removed her boots for hopefully the last time and uh, today I've put on just some slippers essentially. They're just slippers. Uh, her feet are doing really well. Let's sneak through here. Ah, her feet are coming along. Terrific. I did a big huge trim not too long ago on her front and you can see the angles are really coming along nicely and uh, she's growing out the last of what I would consider her old growth which you can kind of see if you look at that line there so she's just gonna grow same with that one it has the same kind of line along the front I'll highlight that and uh, and her angles are so much better, and her frog is so much better, and her bars are all finally cleaning out, and all that kind of stuff. But the bigger deal is her back feet with her little slippers on. And um, right now, now I've had them completely uh, barefoot, no boots, no nothing for the last couple of days. And essentially letting everything dry out. Um, she got another trim today, so she's on a week. Every week she gets a trim. Don't chew on those. <laughs> uh, every week she gets a trim, so she's on a weekly trim. Some horses go on a week. Hey, don't chew on that either. I'm gonna move the rake out of the way. No chewing on rakes. Um, some horses go on a weekly, some bi-weekly. My horse is generally on a three week trim, three to four week trim. Yes. You've got some hay sticking out of your mouth. Looking sharp. Yeah, um, my horses are on three weeks usually, three to four weeks. Schedule. <laughs> Hello. Um, but she's on one week to uh, to rapidly get her, because while I've got her here, I might as well um, just get on 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 the ball with everything. And uh, her back feet are coming along really well. The stuff that's been sort of crunched up into the bar area and the heel area is coming out slowly. And the um, one of them appears to have a really old, possibly a really old abscess in there. And so I just want to continue to draw out and clean it out. So I put what's called sugar dine in there, which is a mixture of sugar and betadine or iodine. And uh, you mix that up into sort of a peanut butter like consistency. Jam it in there, wrap it up. And that's that. 
Now, the other thing that I've been doing with her is uh, washing her. So, um, she wasn't very good with bathing before, and she's getting much, much better now. Uh, she's had five baths today, just light ones, just water. Hey, don't chew on that! Oh, there's a bad horse right there. What are we going to do with her? What am I going to do with you? <laughs> um, she's had four or five baths. Just water though, no shampoo and stuff. Trying to get her used to the sound of water. Trying to get her used to she's going to get splashed. Put some buckets of water on her. And then, as we talked about fly spray, inside of my training kit here, uh, I have my handy dandy spray water bottle. And so she's alert, but she's not running. You know, I can come up here. She'll be a little bit evasive, actually. Let's go ahead, since I'm already here. But she usually just settles in. Just keeps spraying. There you go, that's a good girl. Just keep bugging her. You know. Hello. I know, you're a big girl. Good girl. Wipe that off a little. Hey, I know. It's just water. Spray her butt. Spray her tummy. You know, I'll get out of her way if she wants to leave. She can wander away from me anytime she wants right now. So she's much, much better with that. Um, and so I'm going to continue. While I've got her here, this is a great opportunity to just work on a whole bunch of essentially groundwork, but common sort of activities that you're going to do with your horse. You can do a lot of things on stall rest. She can move around. She's not lame. She's not having any problems. I just don't want anything jammed up in there. So here she stays. And that's the Gracie update for everybody that's wondering. She's, I mean, she looks great. Look at this thing. She looks fantastic. She's actually, I'm not sure she's getting a little bit of chubby just hanging around. She's filling in. She's aging nicely. So, Anyways, the sun is going down. I've been requested to go have a swim, which I shall. <laughs> She's waiting on me. And uh, everybody else is doing wonderful. Duke's doing great in his training. I've got him taking a saddle. If anybody saw the picture uh, that I put up, he's he's got a saddle on. He's got tarps on him. I've got the whip going. I've got ropes on him. I've roped his feet. Uh, lots of acclimation to things. Peggy's doing great. Peggy, say hi to everybody. No, I'm eating. And then there's those two. I think they've recently run out of food, so they're staring at me. Fill us back up. Of course, they're just doing wonderful. Luke's getting special treatment thanks to Vinny's owners who have come up with a concoction that seems to be assisting in his itchiness. I love it when some experts show up and tell me what to do. Looks out. Looks out well. What? What is it? She's such a good girl. Such a good horse. It's amazing. On a side note, she did happen to nibble on my back briefly when I was playing with her because horses are quite sensitive right here. You can see if I touch her. I'm touching her stifle, and she's very unhappy. Rawr. I think it tickles, to be honest. I'm just going to pet her. Say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. You can have a little bit of trouble. Yeah. So, uh, playing with that, and I kind of turned, and I didn't think, and she kind of said, no. So I've done a bunch of videos on why horses bite, and that's one of the reasons. Sometimes you can just be asking for it. You know, you just got to... Be careful. I gotta go for now though. Um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. And I'll try to get that Colorado, Colorado video out. <laughs> gotta go for now. So see you guys then. Bye.
are a weird looking sort. Alright, that's good for now.